If you can be seen, you can be hit. If you can be tracked, you can be targeted. Rapidly evolving technology like drones and remote sensing has made staying hidden on the battlefield harder than ever. As the U.S. prepares itself for a more high-tech enemy, like the military powers in the East, technology that will keep America's army concealed will have to keep pace. To do that, the U.S. Army is taking a piece of old gear and pushing it into a new age. Countdown. Three, two, one, fire. I'm here at Enfield, a military testing ground, watching the next generation of smoke grenades ignite. Today, developers are working to increase the yield soldiers use to hide and signal with. But in the future, they want smoke grenades to do much more. It's just as important as, as you know, bulletproof vests or other defensive tools uh, that the soldier needs. is testing four prototypes, each with a different smoke compound. The prototype that will make it to production will be the device with qualities like the thickest and longest lasting smoke. That's the short term goal. Long term, scientists will be adding characteristics like infrared and radar disrupting obscurance to the smoke. Do you even consider this smoke anymore? I mean, what you're describing is incredibly high tech. When I first came here, as a beginning engineer, I would call it smoke. Now I call it an obscurant. The Army's current smoke grenade, the M83TA, doesn't have any of those properties. In fact, it was never meant to be on the battlefield at all. The Army used it as a training grenade. It wasn't until 2008, when the Army stopped using its predecessor, that it was upgraded. That grenade was pulled because of toxicity concerns. Right now, the M83 is the best that we have. Um, we shouldn't be satisfied with it. We shouldn't accept it. We should continue to grow and see what things we can do better. For now, the Army's main focus is getting the best quality smoke for troops on the ground. Then it will work on adding the high-tech obscurance. They won't specify the production timetable for those changes, but say next-generation smoke grenades are one of their top priorities. How pressing is finding the new smoke grenade for the Army? I mean, how important is the work that you're doing here in this laboratory? It's all very important because you're, you're uh, creating a situation where folks are depending on smoke to provide them some kind of level of protection. The future of the battlefield isn't just monitored with the naked eye. Soldiers will be using sophisticated instruments on both sides. And as the future of the battlefield becomes more and more high-tech, everything must follow, even smoke grenades.